Oh, hello everyone. I am Captain K, and in today's video, we're going to go over the new BNTI Karooned Armor that was delivered in the 12.8 patch in Escape from Tarkov. It's a brand new level 5 armor that's provided from Proper. I think it's a pretty neat new entry for budget armor, and so I want to test it against these rounds right here. All right, let's get straight to the point and start shooting. So first up, we have 5.7 SS-190. This round has helped me kill many, many geared boys. Six shots. All right. Round two says... Five shots. That's not that bad, considering you have a 20-round magazine in these pistols. Anyways. We have some 9 by 19 7 and 31 Again, another devastating pistol round. I mean, this is a slapper. Five shots. Four shots. So you're telling me this sold-out ammo on proper compares to SS-190? Actually, I am. Next up, 3668P. I don't really like the accuracy nerf on this round, but I do like doing like a bare bones 209 for memes. That's three shots. So what happens here is my ammo test dummy cope. He scratches his ass and accidentally desk pops. So, oh, 4.6 by 30 APSX. I've done a video on this. I'll throw a card up here for you. Four shots. Another three shots. Bada bing, bada boom. This round slaps. Next up, 762 by 39 BP. Mother Ash's finest. Uno, dos, tres, three shots. Uno, dos, tres, three shots. Basically comparable to APSX, but I mean, 762 by 39's got recoil. 545 by 39 BS, here we go, comrades. We start with one shot, two shot, three shot. Three shots for Motherland. One shot, two shot, three shot. Three shots for Motherland. Ah, ah, ah. That's my best Count Bliat impression. 762 by 54. 7 and 1. This is a monster round. Two shots like I expected. Yeah, it just two taps you. I mean, it, it's a gnarly round. What can I say? 556 five, M55A1. Four shots. And another four shots. Not bad for a budget ammo. 1270 AP 20 slugs. I love running these on factory and a Saiga. They're just insane. Three shots. Four shots. Hell yeah. Last but certainly not least, 45 ACP AP. I actually have another video that I did testing this round against level one through six. I'll put a card here for you so you can check it out. Five shots even. Not bad. It'll be even better when it comes directly out of, say, a Chris Vector. Well, the results are in. I gotta say, I like this armor. And I like it not because of its armor durability points. Those are quite low. I like it because of the graciousness at which it repairs. It repairs extremely well and costs like next to nothing to fix. Is this gonna make you a Chad running this armor? No, not really. I think it's more of a high-level rat armor. But I see it in Factor all the time. I personally love it. What do you think of the Karund armor? Hopefully I even said that right. If somebody who speaks Russian wants to correct my terrible Russian pronunciation, please let me know in the comments below. Anyways, my boys, that's it. We're going to wrap up the video here. I just want to say, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button. Share it with a friend. I stream most nights starting around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Captain K. I'll put the link in, down in the description below. Let's talk about armor over there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.